Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing amazing. I'm getting ready to go shopping today. I'm actually going to Stafford for a bit of shopping trip today. So I know there's a Primark there, so I wanna have a look what's in there. River Island as well, cause that's just like my most favorite shop in the world. I don't know where else I'll go. Probably TK Maxx, cause I have to go to TK Maxx everywhere I go. And yeah, I'll see what else is there to film, see what good homeware is about, because that's generally where I get more excited um, and I have far too many clothes. So I thought I would take you guys with me and show you everything that's new in the shops, um, all of the nice spring wear. I need to get dressed and I also need to make some breakfast. And then what I thought I'd do later on, because I've got some new purchases, I haven't properly looked at them yet, but I've got some new homeware from Matalan, a little bit H&M and I've been saving like this Home Bargains bag of stuff that I thought I'd show you guys as well. So I'll do a little haul at the end of the video after I've done all my shopping today. So yeah, come along with me. One step forward, two steps backwards, yeah. So of course my first stop was in Primark. I was so impressed with this Primark actually in Stafford. It was a really good one. I saw so many gorgeous clothes in there. Normally I go to the Chester store, but this one, yeah, I just saw so many things that I liked. They have absolutely gorgeous things in for holidays. Um, so many nice bikinis, nice swimwear. I was really, really impressed. The homeware section is quite small, but it was all very neat and tidy, which I liked as well. Everything was quite well organized in this store and yeah like i say saw so many gorgeous things do you even want me do you even worry that i'm gonna love somebody else so you think about me when you're feeling lonely by yourself what's it gonna take for you to love take for you to love me what's it gonna take for you to show take for you to show I definitely need to have a sun holiday booked because some of these things I just love. I absolutely love this cohort. These floaty trousers are absolutely gorgeous. I would probably need to take them up a little bit though because I'm only short. But yeah, they have really nice matching sets in there. And you can get obviously a, a bikini or swimsuit that would go with it really well as well. But yeah, so many nice beach cover-ups and floaty shirts. Sitting in the dark With every move I make your fall 
this ever happen to you? Here's your time to shine, I'll show me what you can do Make a move, the way my hands feel on your body We were dancing in the dark, with every move I make you're falling The way my lips feel on your body, we were moving in the dark With every breath we take you're falling you can do make a move the way my hands feel on your body the way we're dancing in the dark with every move i make you're falling was so impressed with their bath and body range like all of this stuff i think looks so cool they've got these whipped shower foams um also some whipped body butter that is like really cool funky colors yeah i think they would look really nice in like a gift hamper all together also their bath bombs i'm so impressed with them they've got the coolest looking bath bombs um really really nice I i've never actually had one of primark's bath bombs if you want to let me know in the comments below if they're any good or not i always get the boys ones from lush if i'm gonna like get a more expensive bath bomb but if these are good like they look really funky a whole big basket of them would be a really good gift as well Then into one of my favourite shops of all time. I never fail to see so many things I want in River Island. And once again, I wanted pretty much everything in the shop. These black bomber jackets I see everywhere. I saw a really similar one in Primark. I've seen some really nice similar ones in George Asda as well. But they've sold out so quickly every time I've tried to get one. 
how nice are these flares they've really got like a proper flare on them as well but yeah i love this tasseled cardigan as well and also these suede jackets that they have they have them in a few different colors and i am obsessed i want this cream jacket so much it's 60 pound and i very nearly got it and then thought no don't buy any more clothes um but it might still be something that i end up purchasing i'm not gonna lie because i have been thinking about it um but yeah they have beautiful things in river island it's just obviously that little bit more expensive compared to primark but i do always find the quality of things really good i'm always drawn to their handbags like ever since i was little um in high school i was always such a big river island fan loved going and having a look at what jewelry they had these sliders as well i'm obsessed with they do them in black and also i show them in a little bit in cream i love them they are i think they were about 35 pounds um and yeah their swimwear they have got some of the most glamorous looking swimwear and shorts and linen shirt sets and little clutch bags oh my god obsessed So I was with my sister for this shopping trip and we popped into a cafe after we'd done a bit of shopping so just a quick coffee stop before we went off to our next shop which was George Astor oh my gosh Stacey Solomon's homeware range she's just I, I love it I love the all of the things that she's brought out it is so homely so cottagey I could buy so many things from this range she has really got it right I think with most of these items lots of bunnies lots of sausage dogs lots of wicker trays the bedding is gorgeous as well this particular asda didn't have a huge selection of it but there was still um a fair bit but there's a lot more on the website that i've seen and um, i've got loads of things in my basket <laughs> on that and their easter range is really cute as well i love that little plate and cup set and the, the snail mug really cute loads of nice bits for little ones yeah, I feel See what you want, see what you want, cause I wanna know, I wanna know Yeah, I'll be on my way out thinking that I'm good, right? Suddenly you pass by, now you're stuck on my mind Thinking how I stand now, but I guess I'll never be tired Of you, of you, of you, of you Feeling out, oh, tell me why I get this feeling out. Been a couple years that I've been healing out. Been a couple years, been a couple. 
went into one of my favourite homeware shops, we went into TK Maxx. I know there was a big home sense as well that we didn't get a chance to go to in Stafford, but I am hoping to make a trip to Home Sense soon because that is another shop that I adore and always come out with absolutely loads. But TK Maxx is obviously under the same umbrella as that, isn't it? And it's like all the same stuff, but it was just a smaller selection of things, but still many beautiful things for spring and for Easter. I've loved seeing all of the things that they've got in this year. I love all of these bunny jars. I think they're the cutest thing ever. And they've got like the Ray Dunn mugs as well. This huge mug that I spotted that just says hop along. It's absolutely massive. It'd be great for a hot chocolate. But yeah, they have some really pretty mugs in and loads of ornaments for Easter. I'm not even worried, but I can't hear the signs you describe. Don't be ashamed. We can't always leave this place and go where no one knows our names. Pack your bags. We never needed their permission to believe in ourselves. So come with me. Spend the weekend doing everything they said we'd never do In their universe, we're just causing trouble But nothing can hurt us in our bubble For better or worse, in an uphill struggle No regrets and windows down, 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 down. Let's escape the silence together Just say the word I don't know when we'll get there But we're still young In their universe We're just causing trouble But nothing can hurt us in our bodies We also popped in to Tesco. Their homeware section is beautiful. I just love looking at all the Easter stuff at the moment and every shop that I go in and seeing what different ranges there are. I did pick up this doormat um, that says welcome. It was only six pound, which I thought was quite a bargain. But yeah, their Easter things are so cute. Really nice wreaths and garlands and little decorations. And just generally their spring decor is really nice as well this i think is really good for little ones for easter one of the sunflower pots it's a great gift if you don't want to give just chocolate but yeah all of these little spring plates and the cake stands and the cake tins and teapots like it's all so cute i'm loving all of the spring decor i feel like there's more than ever this year just in the shops <laughs> Focus right, every glimpse. 
time, sir. But yeah, it's a shame they don't deliver because I don't think they do, do they now, Tesco? Oh, they had all really nice Disney range as well. All of these Bambi plates and Winnie the Pooh mugs. So nice for gifts for kids, for some things that they can keep. But yeah, that's everywhere that we had a little shop round. Oh, wow. Okay, I need to show you all of the things that I've bought recently from H&M and Matalan. Oh my god, I got some gorgeous things from Matalan. Um, I've also got some things from Home Bargains. So I wanted a little bit of new spring wear, spring home wear. And there was a few things that I really wanted to get my hands on. I really wanted a cake stand with like a cloche over the top. And I've, I've like, I feel like I've been looking everywhere for one. And obviously there are some, but the prices were like, I just didn't want to pay like a huge amount. And I also didn't want a massive one either. I just wanted a little one so I can put a few like home baked, not even home baked cakes or whatever, because I just like having stuff like that around the kitchen. Not that it'll last long. That's why it can't be a big one because it's not going to be filled up. It needs to be little just for the few things that are left um, if I do any baking or buy any cake. The biggest order that I did was Matalan. Quite good on Matalan because they had like a, a, a code and it was like 20% off if you spend £60. No, 30% off I think it was if you spend £60, which took all this down to quite like a decent price. So the first thing I got was a new spring wreath. I have just ordered actually a, a hanger because I cannot find any of mine, like, you know, the wreath hangers. I think they're all packed away with like, my Christmas decorations. So I've just ordered one, or it might be a pack of two, but off Amazon, like an acrylic clear one. And then I can actually hang this on the door. Um, but this is the beautiful wreath. I love it so much. £22. It's like lavender and eucalyptus. I think that it that was what it was described as. Um, yeah, this was off the Matalan website, £22, it's a nice size one, obviously it's got the little hanging thing as well, and I love that, I didn't want anything too bright or crazy, and I think this is just a really pretty one, you could add to it as well if you wanted to, I don't think I'm going to add anything, but yeah, I'm really liking that, that was £22, came really well packaged as well because I ordered these things, I love Matalan's homeware, I also got a couple of jars, I just love the design of these, so I got... The two different sizes i think they only did these two sizes but how nice for spring the little one was five pound and this one was seven pound fifty but like i say with a discount it all made it like much more reasonable and i'm gonna put some like nice spring things in there i've got some bunny marshmallows that i might put in one of them it reminds me of stuff that i had growing up like it's quite old-fashioned in a way isn't it that sort of pattern but i love it I think it looks really lovely very homely and cottagey this is a bit of a random one from Matalan because this wasn't actually what I ordered um, but I really like them I ordered two where is my phone and then I can show you what I actually ordered so random that they've just sent me something completely different right I ordered two of these I don't know if you can see that properly six pound fifty each I thought oh I'm gonna hang them up in my bathroom I just wanted like one, one under each other. White Moroccan art wall tile. However, they sent me these, but I think I'm gonna keep them because I really like them. I never saw them on the website. They sent me two of these. How pretty are those? So yeah, I think one under each other will look so nice somewhere. The blue is a gorgeous colour. It's the same price. Obviously somebody must have got a little bit confused by £6.50 Moroccan wall art. There's no glass. I was wondering if it was glass. It's just like a framed tile yeah i'm still gonna keep them maybe i'll get one of the wiped tiles another time but i've got a really awful canvas in like my little toilet room that i hate looking at it's like so old i've had it forever it's like got the leaning tower of pizza in it and like it's just not very nice so i'm gonna put it for something a little bit more my taste now uh, isn't it funny how your taste changes completely over the years like some things that i just thought I loved like now would look at and go that's awful it's so funny same with clothes and everything isn't it it's just funny how times change I picked up this as well that was 15 pound that I just thought was a really nice artificial lavender pot I don't know whether I'm going to put it under my pergola or whether I'm going to have it in the house I think probably under 
my like on my decking area because that really needs a revamp but i need to paint it and i want some like nice new things to freshen it up a little bit it's a good size It'd be nice at the front door maybe i'll put it on the front doorstep that'd be quite nice as well along with my new wreath and then i got a couple of things from h&m so this is my new cake stand with the cloche that's what i'm going to use it for anyway you wouldn't have to use it for that but that is the perfect size for a couple of cakes or a couple of pastries i love mango wood um and that is what this is how much did i pay i don't think it's got a price on it i'm so glad that it didn't go unbroken or anything either i always get really nervous ordering glass things but luckily it was like in a separate box and really well wrapped and again there was um like a members voucher with h m and i had a couple of vouchers to use a three pound one so <clears throat> i think it was 15 percent off for members and then I had my three, two £3 off vouchers or something. So this didn't work out too bad either. But it was £24.99, I think. But like I say, quite discounted. And then I got this tray. What I actually wanted this for, I'm not going to be able to use it for because I don't think it's quite big enough. But I still like really excited to find a home for it in the kitchen. I just love this type of thing in the kitchen just really warms it up makes it feel really homely um so i might put my coffee syrups or something on there or maybe my new little my new little jars from matalan but yeah it's just a really nice tray and it was 12.99 good price i think it's got little felt stoppers on the bottom as well so it's not going to slide around so those are like my like really nice aesthetic bits of homeware and then i've got like some home bargains purchases to show as well the only thing is like homeware i got this mirror that was an absolute bargain it was like one pound something and i got this for toby's bedroom because he has asked me for a mirror for his room so that he could do his hair in the morning without having to come into my room so i thought this was a perfect one proper cheap as well like i say one pound something it's black which loads of things in this room are um so yeah i'm gonna hang that up for him i also got this which i thought was really good i don't know if i've got my receipt in this bag anymore but this was really inexpensive um it's a pencil case that i got for archie because he's absolutely loves his drawing and it is full of pens um it's got oh it's got all sorts in it it's really cool actually got gel pens and a little notepad rubber um felt tips coloring pencils it's so good and it's like this game themed one i'm really really impressed with that he's gonna love it i might give it him like for easter with all his easter gifts he's gonna be so excited about that and it's just nice that it's all organized and it all fits lovely i was such a fan of things like this when i was little yeah 40 piece pencil case i'm really impressed with that i think that's really good oh i also got this I can't wait when I do like my next big speed clean around the house to get my little minky pack out. So in here, it was four ninety nine. In here, you get five things. You get the scourers. You get um, you get one minky. You get some of these like sponge three sponge cloths. Another oh like oh they're nice two heart scourers and they cloths at the back to soak up super absorbent cloth so yeah it's just quite a good one it's got all all the things you need and they all match with each other which i really like it must be a valentine's theme one it's all hearts and pink um but yeah 4 99 i didn't think that was bad at all i also got some of these which i really like for in the bathroom at these pink stuff power foaming toilet cleaners you get three sachets in there it's really cool it just like really cool as toilet cleaners go it's a pretty cool one because it just foams up in your toilet and yeah it's, it's a really good cleaner i got some of this as well which i really like for my hair um and also i'll use it on the boys hair sometimes it's some of this texture volume powder yeah it's just sort of well it gives your hair some volume which i just like putting a bit what i tend to do is like put a bit in my fingers and then like give my roots a bit of a zhuzh but yeah it's quite expensive well it's not but it's only little obviously but it's four pounds something um but it does seem to last even though it's very it's a very little bottle it does last quite a while i also got some of these which i spotted in there because toby really likes these he's not a chocolate fan whatsoever so these golden oreos are always something that i pick up if i see them 75p yeah it's just one that he will have the other two love chocolate oreos and then it's just nice to find something like a sweet treat that i can get for toby that's not chocolate 
or cake and things because he doesn't like any of that so he's gonna be very happy that i found some of them then i just got some new toothbrushes just a pack of three toothbrushes for the boys and i got some plasters as well which i always find is a good thing to keep in my handbag these cushioned ones because i'm forever wearing shoes that seem to just end up being uncomfortable and rubbing me so it's always good to keep some plasters and also i mean they're not really in that stage of falling over every two seconds anymore but it is a good thing to keep with kids in your bag because when my boys were little it was an essential to have some plasters because somebody was always falling over or falling off a scooter or something um so yeah just handy aren't they and then i also got some anti-back hand gel which i actually want to put into my <laughs> my new little hand sanitizer bottle that's like gonna stay in my handbag so this is just to fill that up and i got this for archie because he's been asking me for hot chocolate and we don't have any for some reason so i thought i would get him some of this and the easter bunny mug that i got from home bargains last time i went will be really good for a hot chocolate so that's just an essential to have in the cupboards at all times so that is my couple of orders that i wanted to go through and things that i bought from home bargains i hope you enjoyed a look around the shops with me today i actually didn't I, like i would normally be showing things that i bought whilst i was out and about but because i knew i had these at home waiting for me uh, i yeah i didn't buy too much whilst i was out i just really wanted to film everything that i spotted um, but yeah i hope you enjoyed it and i would love it if you came back again for my next one bye everyone